we're going to graph linear equations using slope and a point. So first thing you need to know is anytime you see that word linear, you know it's going to be a straight line. So it's not going to have any curves or bends in it. It's just going to keep going in a straight line forever in both directions. So we're going to graph a linear equation by plotting the point that we're given on a coordinate grid and then we're going to use a slope to graph a second point. So we're going to use a slope in rise over run form to graph that second point. Okay, so here's our first one. We're given the point 1, negative 3. So remember, x always comes first and then it's y. So I'm going to plot that x, y value. So x is positive 1, so to the right one. y is negative 3, down 3. We have our first point graph. Now from there, we're going to use the slope. Well, I said we wanted to use it in rise over run form, but we just have one number. We don't have a rise over a run. So we have to make our whole number into a fraction. Anytime you have a whole number, to make it into a fraction, just put a one below it. Because four divided by one is four, so it doesn't change the value. So now it's in rise over run form. So we know we're going to rise four, run one. And we have our point that we were given, so that's where we're going to start from. From that point, we're going to use the slope. So remember with rise, anytime it's positive, you go up. If it's negative, you go down. With run, if it's positive, you go to the right, negative to the left. So from our first point, we're going to rise four, so up four, one, two, three, four. Run one to the right. So when you're counting these up four, where you start at, you don't start counting yet. Once you've gone through a whole box, it's counted as one, two, three, four, and then to the right, one whole box. So you have to go a whole unit or a whole coordinate over. Okay, so then we're going to connect these. And this is our graph of our linear equation that goes through the point 1, negative 3 with a slope of 4. And it continues going in both directions. See, it's a perfectly straight line. That's how we know it's linear. And that word linear even has the word line in it. All right, here's another one. So our point we're going to start at is x is negative 4, y is 3. Negative 4, positive 3. So here's our point. All right, slope. It's a fraction, so it's in rise over run form, but it is negative, and that negative's out in front. I need to move that negative so it's either with the top or with the bottom. So I always move it so it's up with the top. So it's negative two over five. So now it's in rise over run form, and I have the negative dealt with. So it's not gonna confuse me. Because you know a negative divided by a positive is a negative, so these are the same thing. All right, so negative rise means down two. So from my point that I start at, I go down two for my rise. My run's positive five, so to the right five. One, two, three, four, five. There's my second point. I'm going to connect them. And this is my graph. Okay, so it's fairly simple. Just start out by graphing your point and then from that spot, you're going to use a slope in rise over run form to create a second point. Okay, so here are two for you to do. One with point negative two, negative five, and slope of two. The other one with a point of three, three, and slope of negative one third. Go ahead and graph them, and I will go through the answers with you when you're ready. All right, so first one. Negative two, negative five is my first point. I'm going to make my slope into a fraction by putting a one below it. Now it's in rise over run form. So from my point, I'm going to rise two, run one to the right. I'll connect those. And this is my graph. Okay, so you don't wanna just have your line go between them with the points at the end because if you have a solid dot that means it stops so have it go continue going and you can put the arrows on the ends or if you 
don't put the arrows on the ends as long as you don't put solid dots on the ends you know that it continues going all right and the last one point is three three slope is negative one over three rise over run remember i put my negative with the top number so from our point our rise is negative one so we go down one run is positive three one two three oh but this puts me off the page don't worry if you want to put your dot out there you can go down one to the right three and you can connect them but i wanted you to see this isn't this the same thing as one over negative three because a positive divided by a negative is a negative so we could have reversed it and we could have said the rise is positive one and the runs negative three so this is the same thing as going up one to the left three one two three and they will both be points on your graph so here is our first one that we graphed and here is the second one that we graphed you can see just by moving the negative from the top to the bottom it made it so it was on our graph but they it's still a point on the graph all right hopefully you're able to graph using a point and slope